Cambridge United, first of all, is a family club and I think that is what attracts people to Cambridge United. When you go to a Premier Club, you buy a ticket, you sit in a seat and that's it. It's very mundane. In the smaller local clubs, you get a lot more enjoyment and entertain and also meet the players. The teams for today, they are as follows. Cambridge United have Will Norris in goal, number 13. Kevin Roberts, the captain at number two. Number three is Greg Taylor. Number four, Josh Colton. Number five, Tom Bonner. Seven, Ryan Donaldson. Eight, Tom Champion. Ten, Tom Elliott. 17, Liam Hughes, 18, Luke Berry. And We've been in the conference Ryan. now, which is non-league for nine years, and a lot of our supporters have drifted away because they won't watch non-league football. <laughs> My name is Colin Proctor. I'm 75 years of age. My first game at Cambridge United was September the 19th, 1943. And in the last 25 years, I don't think I've missed many games home and away. Back in 1948, the then chairman, Jeff Proctor, decided there was a plot of land at the front of the ground that had a Victorian house on it, which the club purchased and had it cleared and decided to give it to the supporters of Cambridge United to build a club shop, which is still there and is a small part of Cambridge United Supporters Club. This is the groundsman, Ian Darla, has been here 35 years. What he don't know about the football, uh, the grass at the football, is unbelievable. He's an absolutely dedicated guy. Um, he's had a lot of fun poked at him over the years, but he's been headhunted by most of the teams, uh, you know, major teams in this country. Coventry, West Ham, Norwich, Ipswich, and he's still stayed dedicated to Cambridge United Football Club which is absolutely marvellous because, as I say, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have the pitch that we've got today. This is the north end, known as the Amber Army end, where all the kids shout and cheer and jump up and down and create merry hell with their yellow pages, which doesn't help to Ian, because <laughs> he has to clean it up the next day. Going back to the late 40s and 50s, Cambridge United was just a plain area of grass and in front of where I'm standing now was a wooden stand that held 500 people. On the right hand side of that was a canteen where everybody used to get a cup of tea. Ginny Morgan who served the teas had a big old fire bell and she would ring it every time we scored. She used to ring it so that the people all around the local area knew that Cambridge United had just scored a goal and at the end of the game they decided that we had a gramophone player in there and one record which was Billy Cotton's I've Got a Lovely Bunch of Coconuts and hence I suppose she was so happy she used to put it on to let the people in the Abbey Ward know that Cambridge United had won the game. This is the first um, club scarf that was produced for Cambridge United and I'll treasure that for the rest of my life. In 2004, we was going into administration and we had to get 40,000 together to be able to get through the next fortnight. And I happened to see an advert in the paper for uh, football memorabilia. My collection would be worth in excess of 35,000 pounds. A supporter phoned me up and I explained why we needed 10,000 pounds and he um, promised to buy it. I took all of my memorabilia over gave me a check, I hence went down to the administrators, handed the check over and we got through the weekend. Mine was a small gesture, some people put in 10,000 and some people even put 20,000 in which shows you how people love this club. I've drawn every footballer that has played at this club, a caricature since 1948. These are some of the caricatures that I draw of the footballers that have played here. These are all the current players. I've got a collection of things that footballers have given me. This was from John Beck's great days at Cambridge United when we, was, um, when we won the playoffs at Wembley. It's a signed shirt by all the players. 
something oh never this is going to be for my children when they you know when I go and they'll be able to save her in football managers get the sack and move on Bill Leavers left and then a young enthusiastic Ron Atkinson come to the club from Kettering Ron was a real diamond and a real character in football and obviously moved us on yet again. He saved us from relegation from Division 3 and was headhunted by West Bromwich Albion and John Doherty took over at the club. And we were promoted in 1988 to Division 2 and John Doherty kept us in Division 2 for six and a half years. This minute in time we're second in the league to Luton. Unfortunately in December and the beginning of January we lost four senior players and we lost four games on the trot and Luton took over. But I still feel that we will sustain that position throughout the league and to head towards the playoffs. In a fortnight we will be going to Wembley to play Gosport in the FA Trophy final and uh, the build up around Cambridge is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> really good for the club to win this trophy and that helps with our, our funds at Cambridge United. Uh, at the end of the day, the other thing I'd like to see more than any other is for us to get back into the Football League. That is where we truly belong, back in the Football League. And uh, if we can get in the playoffs again, um, we would then we would then be at Wembley again. We could be at Wembley twice this season. Uh, the club deserve it. I think you know we've been to Wembley a couple of times in recent years, and we've got the opportunity to go and win a trophy this time and come back. You know, and it will just lift the football club and everything for the city as well. It will be a wonderful opportunity to uh, promote the club. Hi right, guys, I take it you're all going to Wembley? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what are you looking forward to? Looking forward to seeing it play. So, what's going to be the score? Uh, and if we can lift a trophy, hopefully, um, that will just make the day, put the icing on the cake. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah. With three days to go, people are getting excited. That's what a football club is all about. It's about the fans. Lovely. Thank you very much. See you Sunday. Bye. This week, with the run up to Wembley, there's families coming in. Yeah, it's five, six, seven year olds. First trip to Wembley. They're going to remember that forever, aren't they? There's over 10,000 people saying it's important. Yeah, you don't get that many going to other things in the town, do you? To go as chairman of a football club to Wembley for a a trophy final is just nothing I ever thought of or had an ambition for. So it's going to be quite an emotional day. How are you feeling? Fine. Confident. Just seen the players go. Just shook their hands. 5 1. Uh, it's an absolutely fantastic day for the fans. We're taking 11,500 plus those that pay on the gate down there. And uh, Cambridge United will be taking half the stadium.
time you say that. Just the way I thought it was. I mean, I said five naught, and we won four naught, so can't be bad. I've been to Australia and America and also Spain. And once I went to Malta, and I had my Cambridge United shirt on, and two or three pubs that I went into, they wanted to buy it just for the sake of the badge. That is how incredible Cambridge United is. It's the most famous club in the world. This is a community-run club, run by the fans, for the fans and for the people of Cambridge. Before we got married, my wife and I had a sit down and talk and uh, said that if I can have football, then we can be married. And to this day, she has honoured that agreement. I've got a fantastic family and I've got a fantastic football club. A lovely bunch of coconuts There they are standing in a row Big one, small one, some as big as your head Give them a twist, a flick of the wrist That's what the showman said I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts Now every ball you throw will make me rich Oh, there stands me wife The idol of me life Singing roll a bowl of all a penny a pitch Singing roll a bowl of all a penny a pitch. Singing roll a bowl of all a penny a pitch. Oh, roll a bowl of all, roll a bowl of all. Singing roll a bowl of all a penny a pitch. <laughs> Roll up, three shies a penny. Now, what's you knock down, you take away. What about you, lady? Come on, have a basin.